Hello everybody, welcome back to Yener's Cake Tips. Thank you for joining me. Since I started to share with you some cake decorating tips and some ideas, I did not do any kind of figurines yet. So let's do one today. It will be nice and sweet looking orange uh, goldfish. So fish is a fish, as you know, they are all similar shapes. With the things that I'm gonna show you today, I'm sure you can also create some other fishes also about the similar size. So these are the things that we need to create that particular goldfish. I use a little bit of oil spray always to just get the table a bit more non-slippery and also hands not so sticky with the pastillage. I have a little uh, PVC pipe here to roll the pastillage and I use uh, half a Japanese chopstick. So one part of the two Japanese chopstick. I like it because it's a kind of square shape here. When I poke the body uh, with that, it will not go to sink in, it will stay on that wooden stick so I can work on that uh, body on more details. So uh, yellow pastillage, we will have two colors today, yellow on the body and then orange the, on the upper part of the fish, the orange I will airbrush. You can also use the makeup brush to use some uh, petal dust on the surface if you don't have the airbrush. I have also some white and black paste to just to finish the eyes and I have uh, number seven round nozzle to get the scales done and as this is special knife it's a look very simple but special because the shape is sort of like a roundish at the tip when I uh, try to give some texture to the tail I don't want to have uh, too much cuttings so that's why I will have this uh, bended part that touching on one spot only you will understand when I'm doing it uh, what I mean and also I have a little bit of like a pearl dust to create that silvery shimmery look at the end Wet and dry towels, very important because when I'm using the knife to make the textures on the tails, uh, it has to be time to time clean so that knife cut and does the job properly. So let's go and start doing it. Pastillage goes just a few seconds in the microwave, uh, just to have a uh, easier and softer start. Otherwise, the pastillage is too hard to start with. So I'm gonna grab around the 50 gram piece, with just this much, all right? And then give it a good knead first. I don't want pastures too soft, that's why I prefer give a bit more longer knead to get softer than just put longer in a microwave, all right? It will be difficult to start with, it will be too soft, all right? Otherwise I have to knead long enough to, to get this like cooler and firmer, all right? So when I'm doing this, I also give a bit of friction to heat up a little bit more further, all right? All right, just a bit of oil here and All right, it's getting there. So it's like more like a more I knead it, it becomes more smooth and roundish. I think this is pretty good, ready now. All right, bit of oil in hand. First, make it round. Okay. Once they have this one, then drop this in the in the lower side of your hand and then squish it like this, like a pear shape. All right. Get this one about in this shape. So otherwise, uh, you know, when you give it a bit more also shape in the nose, you will have a, like a flat side and a tummy part. So it, you make it this way. So like tummy and a flat on the top, okay? And then give it also a sharper end to the tail. So basically that's the fish will be, all right? So cut this in two pieces here, carefully, all right? Always clean knife wet and the right towel. Turn this one like that, like that. Flatten it a bit, okay? And then use this one. First to do is the tail, all right? Carefully and always, when you do that, make sure the table is clean, wet and dry, and a little bit oil, okay? So. You can also put a little bit on top, just a little bit on top, okay? Look at this. We give the, this tail a really, really nice and fluffy and thin, like very, very thin kind of texture, all right? Like that. Okay, you see that now is already almost happening, all right? Now, that's the trick. Dry 
and clean knife. And first of all, do one side. Give some marking. I like to keep the flatness and also not to make it too even. Certain parts has to be also cut and then like that. Go back again and look at it. You can just touch again a little bit. Don't have to do it all in once, all right? This already once done. Second part, like this. If you see something like this, a little bit cracking, you can also cut this into a nice and clean shape, okay? Right. And then bit, just cut few, few, not much, right? Keep this one like this, don't worry about the, the shape in the tail yet. So give, an, give a good nose and mouth here, all right? So just do like this. That's the lower lip and that's the upper lip. Right. And after that, the cheeks, also knife, starting from the center here and turning around doing this, right? And the other side. So, and then just a little bit of like room for the eyes, all right? And after that, we take this wooden stick and then pocket in the tummy part. I want to like really balance it so the fish doesn't really fall in one side, right? Start off on block. Pocket in the middle. So, as you see now, the fish is already balanced and then nicely secure and standing in one spot. We can now work it out all the other parts and give also a little bit of like moment to tail, all right? Just a little bit of moment to tail. You have now time to do it. A few minutes after, the pasta will be very dry. You cannot do, do this anymore. All right, now is a good start. Now we're gonna do, continue with the, all the other parts of the tail. So first thing to do, we use that number seven uh, round nozzle to give some uh, lines on the top, only on the top part to create that scales. All right, not too many, just a few. Make sure I do it in the right direction. Okay, just sort of random markings. All right, that's enough, all right. This fish has uh, uh, whiskers at the lower part of the mouth. Set the whiskers, something like this, all right, dry. Cut. I'm going to leave it for a while here to dry, not to rush to put it on. Just do it like this first. All right, there's side fins. I'm gonna do one and two, make sure they're the same size. Okay, similar, good. I think I should do it a little bit bigger. Yeah. When you do something double, same size, you portion first so you don't make any mistake, right? Flatten, like that and roll. This, and same thing, marking with the knife. And then go ahead, at the end also. Wait for a while, don't have to rush. Do the second one. Set 
similar size. A little bit different in sizes, doesn't really matter. Okay, do the same thing again. Just like chopping onion. And the image. All right, it's also here. Now, I like to do the top fin, but do it later on, all right? So let's go with this one first. I use water. You can use also uh, Tylos glue or something if you like. No problem at all. Put a little bit of moisture underneath first, so it's welcome the other part easily. Okay. already holding. Okay, the other one. Cut this out, the end bit. A little bit of moisture. Put it here. And once the, the fin's still soft, give a bit of mo moment. Right? That. Okay. Other side. Bit of water. That's it. That's nice. The top fin now. Better do the top fin freshly. Don't do it too early because you want that really fit on top. Change my mind. I like to do the eyes first. Okay. So this is the one eye. The second is it the same size? No. Take this one and put it here. Same size? No. Yeah. Okay, that's good. Equally rolled. Alright. A little bit of water here. A bit of water here and touch. Put on both sides. Water, water, the water. Make sure it's symmetrical. No. Goldfish is a really puffy ice. That's nice. And top, a little bit of moisture. Just to the top part. Same thing, just like the side ones. This part, a little bit thicker, okay? Clean the knife and do the same thing. You can chop this. That's it. My goldfish ready, just to let it dry before we start applying some color on it. So this is the fish that I did yesterday. It's end up a little bit more larger. So let me show you that a bit more closer here. So look at this. It's nice and dry now. All right. So that is the side fins, just behind the behind the chick, and then the the back back tail is quite nice and double tail. And then here, the left, the right, and same. And eyes, eyes are very puffy. And the top is also similar to this side. There's a bit of gap over here, but you can always close, close it with a bit of rail icing before you spray the orange. Right. 
For the airbrush, I use the top loading one because I can just put a few drops of color inside so I can uh, airbrush it no problem at all. The lower one is a bit more uh, complicated. They are nice, but uh, you need a lot of liquid inside to, to, uh, to do it. And also exchanging colors is a bit of a problem. All right, so now uh, I just put a couple of drops of uh, orange color already prepared before, all right? And then you always just sort of like try somewhere else first. That's already good. I'm just going to use that one only from the top view, all right? Just from the top. Okay, I think this is orange enough. So what I like to do now, I'm gonna add a little bit more red inside. While you're not looking at, I actually add some more red inside here. All right, back. back. A little bit of red on top, I think it makes it better job. All right, here we go, a bit more strong. So I'm going to let them dry for a while and I'm going to add the pearl and the eyes after that. You can use a few different ways to apply that shimmery and silvery look to the fish or for other figurines. You can just take this uh, pearl dust, uh, put it into this atomizer like that and instead of water you use some vodka or, or any kind of like a, uh, alcohol that which doesn't have any color and then shake it and then just spray it just like this. All right. Another thing is that you can take the, the dust, the uh, pearl dust, you put it your, on your hand like this, very small amount, like this, and you can just blow, like this, like that. You can see that there's some happening, all right? But now, I'm not gonna do that, I'm just gonna uh, put some dust, uh, pearl dust, apply it with the, with the makeup brush, all right? Just like this. Take it from here, and then, Go for it. See that it's very effective. It works right away. And also you can brush it off whatever not necessary. All right. Just like this. Another one. So it's already good enough. Now it's time to add some ice to the fish. So one has already ice. Let me finish the other, other one. I like to make first two round white ball. Not too large, but similar size. Just put one on the table, put it on the side, a little bit more. You can see the size. Yes, it's gone. And after that, two little black one. Also same size. Yes, just similar. And then roll, roll, flatten, and then push it on, and then roll again. All right, that's done. And then the other one, also fleshly roll, flatten, and put it together and roll again, so they are done. And two little white ball, it represents uh, the shine on the eyes, very small. Yeah, it's very good. So that one goes somewhere around the side here, just on the side. Stick it, one more, just too small. So here, side here, touch again, there it is. And then apply a little bit of moisture on these cavities. Just a little bit, right? And then 
you just push it flat. Don't keep it too much like puffy eyes. Just push it flat, like that. And this one also like that. Slightly flat. Yeah. That's it, they are ready to swim. So that is my little fish already finished. And the way how I done it, it was the tip of this week, uh, how to do this kind of fish without any silicone mold. So you can take this fish like this with the Japanese chopstick, poke it inside the cake. And after that, you can hide that stick with some seaweeds. Then you have a sort of fish, uh, not just sitting on the, on, the, on the sand, it's swimming in the scenery. All right. You can also put this fish on the side of the cake, but the way how you're going to do it is a little different. While you're shaping the body, you have to pop this flat uh, ice cream holder on the side of the fish and make sure that indentation is already there. And after the fish is finished, uh, pop this on the cake and then attach the fish to that wooden piece. After that, it will stay. So I hope you like and then you learned something out of this week's tutorial. And thank you so much for being with me today. And please like, share and subscribe to stay tuned with us. Until next week, bye for now. Thank you.